During the humble beginnings of this country, most firearms manufacturing was going on in the Connecticut Valley area, aptly named Gun Valley USA. Now, at the end of the 20th century, some of these companies start moving west to the Arizona area. Now, at the beginning of the 21st century, we have a great deal of great firearms manufacturers here in Arizona, and this is where we're gonna call Gun Valley West. So please join us, Gunstock Reviews, so we can bring you all these companies and what they do. So we're gonna slowly interview all these great companies and uh, facilities and bring you anything from firearms manufacturing to training here in Arizona. So join us please, Gunstock Reviews and our new series, Gun Valley West. So I'm here at the Cowtown USA range in Peoria, Arizona on a bright sunny day here in wintertime with my friend John Abbott, who happens to be the owner and proprietor of Hog Holsters. Hog and, Holsters. And today, John, we're gonna talk about concealment holsters. Yes, sir. There's many kinds of holsters, there's many kinds of Kydex. We're gonna talk about your holsters and what makes them different. Okay, well, what, what makes our holsters different is, uh, number one, we, we designed our holsters around the UltiClip. Uh, there's several different kinds of UltiClip, but the UltiClip allows you to clip to either your trousers and uh, also very easy adjustable cant with a double tap tog nut. We, we design our holsters so a lot of holster companies have a problem with losing hardware. That is before I ever made the first holster, that is a problem that I wanted to solve coming out of the gate. And we've never had a customer call us yet in almost 10 years of making holsters that says, hey, we need more hardware, we've lost our hardware. Doesn't happen, but if they call us, we'll, we'll send them new hardware. Hadn't okay. happened yet. Okay. Uh, the, the next thing is we design them for concealability and they're all tuckable. So you can actually tuck in between the clip and the trousers, okay? okay. Um, this one, for, for instance, is my Glock 48 holster, and I wanna show you how easy it is to take off and put on. You took it off just by merely undoing the clip. All you do is unclip it, your trousers go in here, in between there, and then you tighten it back down onto your trousers. And then to put it back on, all you do is make sure your belt is loose, push it down, clip it to your trousers, and it goes back on. The reason I like that design is for safety. I was a firearms in instructor with safety for many years, and one thing that I always noticed is if anybody ever has to pull their gun in a bad situation, one of the things they'll find is their heart rate goes over 300 beats per minute. Their brain isn't working real well. And so what they're, what they're gonna do is they're gonna call 911 or whatever after they've handled the situation. Maybe they have had to shoot their firearm, maybe they haven't, but either way, they've removed it from the holster. Now, when they go to tuck it back in, they're all nervous and everything because of 300 beats per minute heartbeat. The best thing and safest thing for them to do, go ahead and lay their firearm down, remove the hog holster, put the firearm back in the holster and then reholster the whole system. That way you're less likely to, you know, do like a famous football player and something and shoot yourself in your important parts. Yeah, that's, that could be really bad. And the cool thing about your holsters that I mentioned in another video is that you can wear them strong hand, cross draw, and even appendix, right? Right, these holsters with the adjustable cant can be worn anywhere from cross draw in front of your left uh, pocket, if you're right-handed, all the way around to, and I don't advise it, but all the way around to the small of your back. I don't advise carrying small of the back, but if you do, you always wanna make sure no matter where you're carrying your firearm that the palm of your hands is toward your body when you draw. That way you're not having to do this whole, that kind of stuff, that, that's a safety thing. Okay, I noticed that you make uh, holsters for just about every kind of gun there is out there, right? I make them for 280 different guns, but there are some brands that I just don't mess with. Okay, yeah, but for example, I have here the Springfield Armory Hellcat. Yes, sir. Uh, we have the Mossberg MC1. Sure, do you make that one? And now you're gonna, uh, you made me one for the Taurus G3. Correct. And I have several holsters like uh, P365s and the Springfield Armory XDS Model 2. Correct, and I also make it for the Hellcat OSP model with what I call a funk wing. It's actually a piece of uh, the Kydex that's bent over to stay between the optic and your body to keep your body sweat, salts, and all of that stuff off of your optic. That, well, that's great. And also, I know a lot of people are looking for the OSP holster 
and you already make it. I already make it, I've already sent them, and I've already got people that, that have texted me back and said they love it because the what I call the funk wing, which keeps your body funk off of your, your optic, I make them for different firearms with optics, like the uh, 365 XL with, with the optic, I also, also make it for that. Okay, awesome. Well, we're gonna be able to do, uh, do that here pretty soon with a P65XL. We already reviewed it on the channel and we really like it. We're gonna put an optic on it and okay. get one of your holsters so we can actually try it. So, John, thanks for being here with us and talking about your holsters. Uh, as you notice, we have all sorts of different holsters here. We're gonna keep using your holsters in some of our reviews and if you and we'll bring you back with some of your new ideas and new holsters. Okay, thank you very much, Jamil. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay safe and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.